Welcome back to the uh, Secrets of Success affiliate training. Let me move myself around there a little bit. Uh, today in this video, what we're going to do is we are going to look at the share funnel that you could use for ClickFunnels 2.0. We're going to look at the redirect page and the bridge page in this funnel. We went through a lot of training in other videos on what these pages are for and what they look like, so I'm not necessarily going to repeat all of that, uh, but I will go a uh, quick overview. And once again, forgive my voice I'm still dealing with uh, COVID. So let's jump into the redirect page and if you recall the purpose of the redirect page is very simple. It's essentially to be able to give somebody a nice clean looking link to bring them to this page and when they get on this page you're going to immediately bounce from this page to your affiliate link and end up in this case here because right now all we're doing is promoting for the um, affiliate program, not for the product itself. They're going to end up on this page right here. And because of that, we want the page that we're building, they're only going to see it for a split second, but we want that page to resemble this page so that they think that, oh, this is all just part of the loading process of the page, not that they go from a orange page or even a white page to a black page or a red page or something else. We want to have congruity throughout the entire process. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in here, we're going to inspect this page, we're going to see here that this black section up here at the top is 90 pixels tall and that this section down here is a little over a thousand pixels tall. So let's take a look at how we do that. We also know that this is black on this background color right there. Uh, so we come in here, and all I did is I said top padding 45, bottom padding 45 to give me 90, set the background color, and then on this section right here, very similar to that, we just came in and we put in enough top and bottom padding to give us the full height, and then I grabbed the image off of their site, and I dropped it into my assets, my image assets right in here, and there you go. So there's really not much you're going to have to set up on this page except one very important thing hidden in here is a countdown timer I could have hit it anywhere on the page but it just happens to be right in here so we're gonna to go to our layout and we're gonna come down to that countdown timer and we're gonna see here it's set on October 10th of this year I'm sorry October 1st of this year why that date no particular reason except that it's a date that has already occurred so you want something that's already occurred because What's going to happen is it's going to get here, the computer's going to say, oh, well, we're already past this date, so we have to do what we have to do because it's already expired. So we got our countdown, our timer actions here, expired action. So when it expires, we want to redirect to a URL, and in here, right there, that's where you put your affiliate link. So you start them off on a good-looking link, bounce here, boom, into the affiliate thing, and they end up on this page right there. So that's it for this one here. All you have to do is set that countdown timer, give it your affiliate link. So now let's look at the other funnel we have here, and this is a bridge page funnel right here. Now normally what you would use a bridge page for is to uh, give somebody bonuses when they go and sign up for the offer itself. So in this case here, somebody's actually going in, they want to get the MIFKI offer, they want to sign up for the training, and you're going to say, if you sign up for the training, here's all the extra stuff I'm going to give you. So again, you want it still to look like the page is going to land on, but right now we actually don't know what that page is going to look like because it doesn't exist. So I set this up as if you were going to land back again onto the JV landing page because until October 19th, you can use it for that purpose. In fact, you can leave it alone exactly as it is, uh, because I essentially cloned what they had on this page here, and you can leave it alone exactly as it is, and use this yourself right now. The video I have in here is actually the video from here. So what you can say to somebody now, if you think they're kind of on the fence, you go, hey, go here, just watch this video, 
And if you're interested, then click on the button below it. So again, you got a nice clean link. You send them to this page. It's all safe. They don't feel like they're being had. They watch the video. They go, you know something? I am really interested in that. Click this down here. So what I put in this box is click to view the entire affiliate page. At this point here, they know what an affiliate is because Russell talks about it up here. You may want to change the verbiage if you think your people aren't going to understand that. But... Um, here you go down there. So what you do on this page, all you have to do if you want to use it as is, and again, in this case here, this is purely promoting the um, the the uh, ability to sign up as an affiliate, which will be an ongoing thing. So you could keep this page, use this as an ongoing thing for the uh, getting people to sign up as an affiliate, and then create a copy of it, modify it for uh, giving away your bonuses, which we'll talk about in a minute. So if you're going to leave it alone as is, all you have to do is go into the button, and then right here, you want to drop in your affiliate link right there. So they're going to come here, watch the video, click that, boom, they're off to your affiliate link if you use it that way. Now, if you use it as a regular bridge page, then you want to change up a lot of stuff on here. You want the same look and feel, so you got the congruity from one page to the next, but you may not want to use their Secrets of Success logo. You may want to use no logo at all. But again, all this is completely up to you. You're going to want to change what's in the headlines and stuff up here to, again, reflect what you're offering them. And what you're offering them is if you sign up for this thing, if you sign up for the Secrets of Success program in this case here, not only are you going to get all of Russell's great training, uh, you are also going to get this offer from me. You're going to get these bonuses from me. So that's what you want to be talking about here. That's what you want to be talking about in your video. And then you want to come down here and add some more sections at the bottom of the page where you can then also have more explanation of exactly what your offer is. Have an offer stack in there. You know, I got this thing and this thing and this thing and this thing, and they have this value, this value, this value, this value. This is a total value. And if you sign up, then you're going to get all this stuff for free plus everything um, that Russell's going to be giving you as well. So that's how this type of an affiliate bridge page works, is you're basically sweetening the pot, giving them extra stuff if they go ahead and take the offer. So in a case like that, you have to capture an email address. So we would change what it says on the button here, of course, to reflect uh, what you are saying to them in the video and in your text. So you want to make that. But then you also have to put in a, uh, an email element. So we clicked on Add an Element. We're going to put it there. We're going to then just drag this up. Oops, got to let that close first. Drag that up on top of it, and let me see here. Everything should be set out of the box. You can change the label uh, label text right there so it doesn't just say email. It can say email plus uh, something else. Uh, yeah, okay, it typed in there. Um, so that will so that's the um, placeholder text is what they normally call that. So you can change that right there. Obviously, make your spacing and everything look okay. But that way, now you're going to capture an email. And then we have to do one more very important thing, and I forgot to record this last night, so I'm uh, cutting in a little piece right here. Uh, we have to do one more very important thing, is we have to change this button. See, before, what we had is we had this going to a particular URL. We had it going to your affiliate link, and we can't do that because now we have to submit the page or submit the form. Uh, they both say it here, submit, uh, submit order, submit form right there. That's what we have to do because we have to save that email address. The only way we can do that is to do this submit. But you see underneath that then we have enable a redirect override because we still want to send them to your affiliate link, but we need to submit the form and save the email address first. So when they click the button now, the email address will get stored into the contact database. Right here you put in your affiliate link and so then it will still redirect them to the uh, to your affiliate link to the sales page and then you'll still get credit for the offer and so the whole thing here in the story that you're telling them is give me your best email address below because you're going to do two things based on that email address and you're also going to tell them use the same email address here as you're going to use to purchase so you're going to say okay when you purchase I'll see your email address I'll match it up with the one you gave me 
If they match, I will send you all this cool stuff. And I'm going to send it to that email address, so make sure you give me a good email address so I can get it all sent to you. This really ensures that you get a good email address from these people, and that's very important in a case like this. So that's a way to build your list. That's a way to be able to get these bonuses out to people as well. So I think I covered everything I wanted to there. My voice managed to last, and so if you got any questions, just let me know.